Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to create an SSH WebSocket configuration for the Napstranet VPN app. But before we dive into the steps, let me give you a brief overview of SSH WebSocket tunneling, its purpose, and how it works. SSH WebSocket tunneling is an advanced method of transporting networking data over an encrypted SSH connection. It is mainly used to add encryption to legacy applications, implement VPNs, virtual private networks, and securely access internet services across firewalls. By tunneling the application data traffic through an encrypted SSH connection, the SSH WebSocket technique ensures that data cannot be intercepted or eavesdropped while in transit. This adds a critical layer of security to applications that lack native encryption. Now, let's proceed with the steps on how to configure and export the SSH WebSocket file. First, you need to install the Napsternet app on your Android or iPhone device. You can find the app on the Play Store for Android users and on the App Store for iPhone users. Once you have installed the app, open it and navigate to the config section. Next, tap on the plus button at the top right corner of the window and select Add Config Manually from the drop-down menu. Then, select SSH Config to open the configuration form. Tap on the protocol menu to select SSH Proxy Payload. Now, you have to create an SSH account over the internet, which will be used to fill out the rest filled. So, minimize the Napsternet app and open your internet browser. Search for Ocean SSH, which is one of the websites where you can create an SSH WebSocket account. I placed links in the video description of various websites that offer the same service as Ocean SSH. Now proceed by tapping on the first result to open the website and tap on the burger menu at the top right corner to open a drop-down menu. Then, Select Services to bring up another drop-down menu. From there, select SSH WebSocket to load the WebSocket Servers page. Browse through the locations and select the one you prefer to create an account for. For instance, I choose Canada as my location. Most locations have two or more servers under them. Select the server that is online as you won't be able to create an account if you choose a server that is offline or full. Scroll down the page and fill out the form with your desired username and password. Check the CAPTCHA box to verify that you're not a bot creating the account. Finally, click on the Create Now button and wait for a few seconds for the website to create an account for you. Once the account has been successfully created, Proceed and highlight the host name and select copy. Then minimize the browser and open the Napsternet VPN. Paste the copied host name into the SSH host field. Next, copy one of the SSH ports provided by the website from the browser and paste it into the SSH port field. I will be copying and pasting the following details required. So please follow me as I complete the rest of the fields. Moving on to the HTTP proxy field, you need to enter an HTTP proxy and its port that will be used to tunnel the VPN. However, some of these proxies come with a data cap meaning you may have limited internet access while using that particular proxy, which means you get access to the internet for free to some extent. All these are based on the country you live in and the telecom network you use. Switch to the browser and copy the generated payload. Switch back to the app and paste it under the edit with payload generator. Now, scroll to the top and give a name to the configuration. After you finish, Tap on Save. I understand that you may need some assistance testing the configuration. No worries, I am here to help. Let's start by activating the configuration by tapping on it. Once done, 
Head back to the Home section and tap on the Play button to start the VPN. If a prompt message appears, simply tap on OK. You will see that the VPN is now connected successfully. To double check that everything is working as expected, let's check your location on the internet. As expected, my location is now set to Canada based on the server I selected earlier. To export the configuration and share it with others, follow these simple steps. Firstly, open the app and disconnect the VPN. Then, navigate to the config section and tap on the share icon located on the configuration you wish to export. This will open the export window. In the export window, name the configuration file you want to generate. After you finish naming the configuration, you can choose to tap on Save to generate the file. But wait! Generating a configuration file like that will grant access to anyone to edit your configuration when you share the file. However, keep in mind that generating an editable file may compromise your configuration file security. To prevent others from editing your configuration, tap on the box alongside lock the configuration and choose the lock options that suit your needs. After that, tap on the Save button at the top to generate the file. If you receive a pop-up message, tap on All Out to grant the NapsterNet app access to your device's photos and media. This will lead you to your phone storage, where you can save the configuration file. Tap on the burger menu at the left top of the app to open and display your phone storage. Select your storage and at the top of the window, tap on the folder icon to create a new folder in the phone storage. Give it a name that describes the configuration file. Then tap OK to save the folder name. Finally, tap the Save button at the bottom to create the config file in the folder. Keep in mind, the file you generated can only be imported by Android users and cannot be used on iPhones. Quickly let me show you how to export the file for iPhone users. Tap on the Share icon to open the export window. Type in the name you want to give the configuration file, as I did earlier. After you finish with the name, tap on Export iOS Config File. You can add other security functions to the file by tapping on Lock the Configuration. After you finish, proceed and tap on Save, which will lead you to the phone storage. Tap the Save button at the bottom to create the file in the folder we created earlier. To find the file you generated, please follow these steps. Firstly, open your phone's file manager. Next, navigate to your phone's internal storage where you will find the folder you created for the file. Scroll through the folders on your phone until you locate the folder you created. Tap on the folder and you will see the configuration you saved. You will notice that the first file ends with the extension INPV, which means that this configuration is for iPhone users and the other file underneath is for Android users. To sum up, You've successfully learned how to create a configuration file for NapsterNet VPN. Whether you're on an Android device or exporting the file for iPhone users, these steps offer a smooth approach to guarantee secure and private internet usage. If you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to like the video and share it with others who could also benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for additional tutorials and updates in the future. Wishing you a pleasant browsing experience with NapsterNet VPN.